Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Home Maker. Friends, calenchoes are these beautiful flowering succulents uh, belonging to the stone crop or chrysalacea family. These plants are very much resilient plants and they can grow beautifully in arid environments as well. They require minimal care to grow. Now even though these plants require very low maintenance, still we might face some of the problems with our calenchoes um, like uh, the leaf discoloration, yellowing or browning or drooping leaves or dropping leaves and many of those problems. So in this video we will be going through some of the factors that can cause problems in our calenchoes and what we can do to fix them. So please stay with us till the end of this video. So the first factor is overwatering, and which is a very common factor for most of the plant problems. Now an overwatered calenchoe will have very soft, swollen and mushy leaves. The leaves might also turn yellow in color and uh, they might just fall over with a single touch. Um, and that is when you can say that your calenchoe is overwatered. Now calenchoes, they require moderate watering. I won't say that they are drought tolerant plants and I won't say that they need a lot of water because they are succulents but they are flowering succulents. They need moderate amount of water. Overwatering or underwatering both can um, adversely affect the plant. So for these plants, maintain a regular watering routine. Now, watering routine does not mean that you every Friday you come with a watering can and you water your plant. Always check the soil before you water. The best way to check the soil is to stick your finger into the soil and feel whether the soil is moist or dry. If you feel that the soil is dry, then you go ahead and water your plant. Let the soil to dry out completely before you water it again. Overwatering calenchoe can cause root rot, which if not treated at an early stage can kill your plant. So now to fix this problem, first thing is that you repot your overwatered calenchoe, place it in a fresh soil, in a fresh water, uh, pot, and uh, you, when you are repotting, just assess the roots of your calenchoe and see if the roots uh, are, do not have any signs of root rot, like they are not brown or mushy or black in color and pro, uh, place it in a fresh uh, pot and this time you make sure that you do not overwater your calenchoe and also make sure that you add a lot of perlite or pumice or coarse sand into the soil mix for extra drainage. You can also plant your calenchoe in terracotta pods because the terracotta pods they are porous in nature. They can provide that aeration to the soil and they can also absorb the excess of water from the soil. So uh, potting your uh, uh, calenchoes in terracotta pot would be a very good idea if you are heavy handed. The second factor is underwatering. Now I know that many of us think that calenchoes are drought tolerant plants because they are succulents. Now drought tolerant plant does not mean that they don't need any water. And that is what mistake we make. We end up underwatering them and then killing them. So always make sure that you water your calenchoe when the soil dries out. Do not wait for the plant to shrivel uh, completely. An underwatered calenchoe uh, will have the shriveled or wrinkled uh, leaves, the soft leaves. The leaves might also droop down and eventually the plant will start wilting. So do not wait until that point. Do not wait the, for the leaves to start wilting. Water your plant when you feel that the soil has dried out completely. The third factor is lack of sunlight. Now calenchoes are sun loving plant and they'll need plenty of sunlight to grow happy and healthy. And not providing your calenchoe with uh, bright indirect light can affect the plant growth. So make sure that you provide bright indirect light to your calenchoe. Lack of sufficient lighting will make your calenchoe leggy. Now if you see that the you know the stem of your calenchoe is going very long that means that it's going in search of light it's going in search of bright indirect light so if that is 
happening with your kalanchoe if your kalanchoe is becoming too leggy then provide your kalanchoe with bright indirect light place it in a spot which receives bright indirect light for at least 5 to 6 hours throughout the day morning direct sun and artificial light will also help to uh, make sure that your plant does not become leggy the fourth factor is poor drainage or improper soil mixes so now kalanchoes they are succulents and they prefer a gritty and well draining uh, soil mix so succulent soil mix which contains enough of perlite or pumice or coarse sand for extra drainage is the best soil for these plants i have done a whole video on soil mixes uh, i'll leave the link in the description box for your reference please go and have a look if you uh, want to and poor soil conditions or poorly draining soil can cause root rot uh, in kalanchoes because the poorly draining soil will hold up a lot of moisture and kalanchoes do not like wet feet um, the plant roots sitting in wet soil for a very lo long time can develop root rot and if not treated early it can kill your plant so make sure that the soil mix has got a uh, lot of uh, you know coarse sand or perlite or pumice or charcoal in it so that the water excess of water can seep through easily and the soil is well aerated now you can also put your uh, kalanchoes in a terracotta pot so that the terracotta pots they are uh, you know porous in nature and they provide enough of aeration to the soil and they also help to soak up the excess of water from the soil also make sure that the pot has got enough of drainage holes for the excess of water to seep through factor is freezing cold temperatures now kalanchoes they love arid environments which means they love to be in warm and dry conditions and if you keep your kalanchoe in freezing cold temperatures then your kalanchoe can die because kalanchoes they cannot stand very cold temperatures so if you have put your kalanchoe indoors then there is not much, uh, nothing much to uh, worry about because indoors the temperature is generally room temperature which is fine for kalanchoes but if your kalanchoe is outside then you might need to bring it inside during the winter season and provide uh, maintain that room temperature uh, for your kalanchoes uh, to survive well throughout the winter season i have done a whole video on how to care for plants during the winter season uh, i'll leave the link in the description box for your reference the next factor is too much of sunlight now too much of sunlight can cause sunburn on the foliage of the kalanchoes and you might see the crispy edges or the brown edges on the foliage of the kalanchoes so now as i mentioned earlier that kalanchoes love plenty of sunlight they are sun loving plants that does not mean that you provide so much of sunlight or so much of bright light that the plant cannot handle and the plant gets sunburned so make sure that you provide bright indirect light and not direct light if you want to provide direct light then you can uh, place your kalanchoe in the morning light morning sunlight or the evening light uh, because that is not very harsh but afternoon harsh and hot sunlight can uh, dry up the leaves of the kalanchoe and they can also cause burns and so make sure that you provide a balanced sunlight not too much and not too low of it the next factor is over fertilization now kalanchoes they are not very heavy feeders because they are succulents and uh, they do not need a lot of fertilizing and over fertilizing can cause <clears throat> the soil build up in the soil and the soil build up can cause root burn and over fertilized kalanchoe will have all these brown spots on the foliage and the plant will look sick and dull now to solve this problem either you can give the soil a good rinse uh, with water and let all the salts to drain away through the drainage holes or you can repot your over fertilized uh, plant and place it in a fresh soil in a fresh pot and this time make sure you do not over fertilize your kalanchoe fertilize only during the spring and summer season so once during spring and once during summer should be okay there is no need to fertilize once every month during spring and summer 
because Kalanakoyas don't need that much of fertilizer. Once in spring, once in summer should be fine. The last factor that can cause problems in your Kalanakoy is pest infestation. Now, unfortunately, Kalanakoyas are very much susceptible to pest attack and they can get attacked by mealybugs, aphids, skills, um, and white flies, aphids. <clears throat> so, to get rid of all those nasty pests, you can make use of neem oil solution. You can also use baking soda solution or hydrogen peroxide solution to get rid of those nasty pests. I have made a video on both of them separately. I'll leave the link in the description box for your reference. There are many other problems such as, you know, powdery mildews and um, other, uh, you know, bacterial infections. Now, I suggest that all these problems uh, usually occur due to improper watering or not pro providing proper light conditions. So if you make sure that you provide your Kalankoi with the right watering, right lighting and soil and all these conditions are all uh, correct for your plant, then your plant will not suffer from any of the plant problems. So make sure you take care of all these things and your plant will remain happy and healthy. So friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do let us know by commenting in the comment section if your Kalankoi is going through any of these plant problems and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And do like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe, happy gardening. Bye-bye.